Hey you guys, I am back again with another message from the Lord. This particular message is based upon a number. God showed me this number when I was recording a video, the previous video and he showed me number 679. And I seen this number earlier today while I was out and then he showed me again to again um, not too long ago, showed it to me again. And so I'm gonna come and share what God has brought in my spirit. Um, Six, seven, nine, and a strong concordance means not stumbling, standing firm, exempt from falling. This particular message is for someone, and God brought this in my spirit, because I used to be like this too, y'all. We, as children of God, we used to be, we as children of God, we can be very hard on ourselves, all right? And I was that type where I was so hard on myself to that where I didn't want to give myself grace. And God kind of reminded me of me and the prayers that I used to pray. And this is... Um, probably the prayer I feel like my spirit is the prayer that someone else is praying God please don't let me stumble God please don't let me fall um, you know God I don't want to stumble I don't want to fall I don't want to make the same mistakes again and those used to be my types of prayers because I was so hard on myself and you had to learn how to give yourself grace but God wants me to come and tell his children or whoever is saying this that you will not stumble you will not fall god was not going but god is not going to let you stumble god is not going to let you fall okay um long as you're living a life of repentance um long as you're trying to live a life without sin we are not perfect but long as you are striving god will not let you fall god will not let you stumble okay just continue to do what he is calling you to do the scripture that is tied to this particular um, number is Jude, verse one, um, verse Jude chapter one, verse twenty-four. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceedingly joy. God is proud of you. He is proud of you. Whatever you are doing for God in this hour and this season to glorify him is bringing him great joy. He is proud of you. He is not going to allow you to stumble and fall. Give yourself grace. We're not perfect. We as God's children, we tend to beat up on ourselves a lot. But God is a forgiving God. He's a just God, but he's a forgiving God. And he knows your heart. All right. He knows your heart. He knows your heart posture. He knows you're trying to walk upright. All right. Um, he knows you're striving to live better. And he knows you're not perfect. Okay. But you will not stumble in this season. You will not fall. You will not mishandle what God is giving you in this season to work with. Okay. Um, and that just dropped in my spirit because I feel like God has really blessed his children in this season, in this hour, to do a lot of things, y'all. And these things are going to give you thank you Holy Spirit time back to the previous word influence you are about to have influence and these things are major they're not little they're going to bring influence they're going to draw attention to you and you're just saying God like if this is it don't please don't let me stumble please don't let me fall it's like you're saying this too because you're seeing what how people that got trust in what they beginning to fall now because they're not doing the will of the Father, because their heart wasn't pure, because they forgot about God. You will not fall as long as you keep God first and do what he is calling you to do. Keep a pure heart. Live a daily life of repentance. Pray fast. Stay in your word. Surround yourself with people that God had told you to surround yourself with that's going to keep you uplifted. You will not fall. You will not stumble. Okay? And God is very, very proud of you. Whatever you are doing, God is saying you have, is bringing him great joy. You, whatever you're doing to glorify him is bringing him great joy. Do whatever it is that you are doing that's glorifying God, to glorify God. Continue to do that because it's bringing God great, great joy, okay? And he is proud of you. He loves you. Just know that I love you, whoever this is for. And I can relate this because I y'all, I used to beat myself up a lot about things. Um, but I'm human, all right? And no one's perfect. 
But that's why we have to stay in the word. That's why we have to have a personal relationship with God ourselves and try to live a daily life of repentance, a life without sin, because we are living in the end times. But we want to be the ones where God is saying, well done, my good and faithful servant, all right? And like I said, a lot of God's children, y'all are about to walk into influence. Like he already started to make y'all known, but now y'all are going to have the influence to come around with it. Now there really is about to be some weight attached to your name, right? So you are going to be well known. Like some of these well known prophets in the Bible, you're going to be well known. Like a lot of these like prophets and like the different prophets and stuff in the Bible, Moses, Elijah, Elisha, they name carry weight. They name have weight to it. Jesus name got weight to it. All right. So, um, because of the works that they did. And so were yours because of the works that you did to glorify God for the upbuilding of his kingdom. And God said, you will not stumble. You will not fall in this season. All right. Just trust him. Be obedient. God got you. He will send his angels to have you and to guard you and to protect you and accompany you. Okay. He will send the, the destiny helpers that you need. So whoever this message is for, stop beating yourself up. God got you. You won't stumble, you won't fall, and I'll be continuing to pray for you, all right? Because I know it's not easy, but get ready for great things. Stop beating yourself up, all right? So I love you guys. I pray that you all have an amazing day, and I will chat with you all later.